The New York Rangers lose another disappointing game, this time to the Washington Capitals. And in this one, it just wasn't a great game. I mean, this is the first time the Rangers have lost back-to-back games this entire season so far. So there's a positive there, I guess, if you want to say that. But overall, just not a great game by the Rangers. The goaltending Igor, he was not great in this one. The defensive play, again, was not great, just like last game against Ottawa. And then in this one, you know, we had a lot of chances. We hit, I think, three posts. We had a lot of good opportunities to score, just couldn't find the back of the net. So that was a little unfortunate there, obviously creating a bunch of good chances, just couldn't find the back of the net. It is what it is. Charlie Lindgren had a phenomenal game. He really did play great. So props to him. He got a shutout there. His fourth career shutout, good on him. But obviously the Rangers just could not get the job done and they just couldn't find the back of the net. And that's why they lost this game. Although the goaltending and defensive play wasn't great, you still can't win a hockey game by scoring zero goals. So a little unfortunate there. A lot of things just didn't go the right way. But either way, hopefully things get turned around after this loss. And taking a look at the goalies here, we saw Igor Sturkin stop 25 out of 29 shots here. And Jerry Lindgren stopped 31 out of 31. So good for him getting the shutout. Taking a look at the first period, though, we see Sonny Milano get the scoring going pretty early on in this one as he gets a pass from Martin Ferrivari back door. And he buries it past Igor to make things 1-0 for the Capitals. And then we see, though, after that, the first period, there wasn't a whole lot going on. The Rangers had you know, a few decent chances here and there, but just couldn't find the back of the net. And then we see, though, late in the first, Brodzinski, he gets a two-minute penalty for tripping with about 18.6 seconds left in the first period. So that penalty goes on to the second period where the Rangers still have to kill things off. And we see Igor Sturkin make an amazing sliding save back door to rob him which is a nice save obviously to keep things at one nothing at this point in the game but then a little later on right as this penalty is expiring kuznetsov makes a fake slap shot nice pass over to mantha who's skating in and deflects it past igor to make things two nothing for the capitals and it was literally right as the penalty expired so an unfortunate one there as that makes things two nothing for the capitals and then we see Later on, though, in the second period, we see the Capitals get another goal as Tom Wilson, he skates in on a 2-1-1, and instead of passing it, he just rips one past Igor on an odd man rush, and that's been an issue for the Rangers. They've given up a lot of chances and a lot of goals on odd man rushes, so that is definitely something the Rangers need to work on. But then here, a little after that, we see Lindgren, he tries to make a backhand pass, it goes off. Beck, Malenstein, skate, and goes right out into the slot to Nick Obey Kubel, who buries it to make things 4-0 for the Capitals. And that was the end of the scoring, though. We still saw a few other things happen in this game. Rasmus Sandin gets a two-minute holding call, and Zibanejad gets a great shot off from a rebound, but he hits the post on that power play. So another great chance, just couldn't find the back of the net. Rangers put some pressure on late in the second period. They had a bunch of great chances, but again, I just couldn't find the back of the net in this one. I do believe I counted about three posts. The Rangers hit in this one, so just an unfortunate one there. I had a lot of great chances, just couldn't find the back of the net. And, you know, you got to give your, your props here to Charlie Lindgren, though. He did have a great game, so hats off to him. He really played great in this one, and this is a big reason why this was a nice 4 nothing win for the Capitals. But either way, still you'd like to see the Rangers find the back of the net. And then we see in the third period here, Jimmy V. See, he fights Nick Obey Kubel. He scored a goal earlier in the game. And it just wasn't even a great fight, though, of course, in this one where the game already isn't as entertaining as you'd like it to be as a Rangers fan. Of course, this fight wasn't even that good either. Not a whole lot went on there. So kind of an unfortunate one. Then we see all saw Jimmy V. See, though, he did get an extra two minutes for instigating. So there's that, but that ended up getting killed off. And then we see here Lafreniere. He makes a nice pass to Panarin, who hits the post for the third post hit by the range of the game so yeah it's just an unfortunate one there not a great game by the rangers had a lot of great chances hit three posts had a lot of great plays some good chances obviously like i said charlie lindgren played great in that he made a lot of great saves 31 to 31 is not bad at all so good for him there just an unfortunate one though like i said obviously the rangers do have a nice cushion though in the metropolitan division right now but you don't want to sit on that for too long you want to keep winning keep stacking up those points and obviously the better you do right now, the easier it is later on in the season when, you know, it's getting to that end of the season there and it's getting tougher and people are fighting for the playoff spot and those wins mean even more. You want to have a nice lead here in the division. Hopefully we can hold on to that there. But either way, hopefully the Rangers bounce back here after their first two-game losing streak of the entire season on Sunday against the LA Kings with Jonathan Quick, what it seems like to be in net against his former team for the first time in his NHL career. 
Anyways, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to comment down below your guys' thoughts on this game. And also, don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content. As I do post every single day. I do no mess a video. So definitely, if you are a Rangers fan, this is the place to be. Definitely subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.